Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to discuss what is the stack and the heap, and what's the difference between the two. Let's start with the stack. The stack is a fixed segment of memory, which stores the data like local variables and function calls. The main function, which is the entry point of our program, is also created and stored on the stack. Now let's discuss what happens when a program makes multiple function calls. Imagine your program calls a function called say hello. A new frame pops up on the stack, which contains the variables of that function, a string in this case. Then say hello function calls another function called get username. Now another frame pops up on the stack containing variables of the get username function and the previous address where it has to return. When a function has executed the instructions, its frame pops off the stack as it is no longer needed, the memory is freed and it returns to the previous function. And the same happens to say hello function in the end. All right, let's talk about the heap. As you probably know, deep programming language supports manual memory management. You're able to manually allocate as much memory as you need. Of course, you cannot allocate more memory than available. So you might ask, why should you care? Well, sometimes you do not know how much memory your program might need. For instance, take fixed size arrays and dynamic arrays. Fixed size arrays are stored on the stack. You cannot resize them. Dynamic arrays, on the other hand, are stored on the heap and they are resizable. For example, when creating a dictionary, it makes sense to use a dynamic array because you might want to add more words in the future. So what's the heap exactly? It's just a pool of free memory. We allocate memory on the heap when we do not know how much memory our data will require, or when we need more memory than is available on the stack. To bring up an analogy, the stack is like a rack sack. It's small and it's hanging on your shoulders. It's easy to access, but the memory is limited. You can put inside your smartphone, laptop, books, and anything else which is small and what you're able to carry on your back. The heap is like a warehouse. It's huge and far away, but you know its location and you can store virtually anything you want. All right, that was a quick analogy. In the next video, we will discuss manual memory allocation. Have a nice day.